Okay, we've got another defender to secure up today. Land Rover Defender. Um, on the top of the scumbag's wish list. So at the top there, on the A-post, bit tricky to see in the daylight, but there's a little blue flashing light. That's telling us our system's armed. What we've done, we've got a completely separate standalone system on. So you've got the, uh, the Land Rover system still intact. Um, so it's got the factory alarm and immobiliser. Um, still intact, but we've also added a secondary Thatcham Category 1 2 circuit alarm and immobiliser. So on the cowl in there, you can see an extra little red flashing light that's telling us that our uh, our alarm is armed. You see the one over on the uh, the uh, rev counter uh, binnacle there, that's the Land Rover one. So and the factory one is also armed. So the idea is if somebody comes up with a stolen or cloned key, which is quite popular with these, they can have simply press a button and disarms the factory system and they're in however our system triggers straight away lights siren we try and start the vehicle no start and warning light up there so we press our button on the remote control turns our system off our led now goes green And there's a flash code there telling us why it was triggered. So it'd be door circuit triggered, which will reset. And then the vehicle's ready to go. So basically giving it an additional layer of uh, security on top of the factory uh, Land Rover equipment, which is uh, easily breached on these vehicles.